hi everyone and welcome back and if you join me for the first time welcome my name is Keisha I do beauty videos reviews and hauls if that's something that you're interested in I'd really love it if you go ahead join the family by hitting the red subscribe button right below this video and while you're there make sure that you're turning on that notification bell and you want to go ahead and click the one that says all notifications so as soon as I post you're the first to know now let's get into this video to keep my AC on for as long as I can because it's really hot right now so hope that's okay so I picked up two things from Charlotte Tilbury I have their bronzer right here which is like so hot right now on YouTube and then I have their pressed powder which has been hot for a while now so I figured if I'm gonna get this might as well go ahead and get the airbrush finishing powder which is this one here and as you can see there is a big significance in size the packaging of course I absolutely love I think it's so classy and looks so iron which you know it is a high-end brand this is the press powder I absolutely love this packaging it looks just so sophisticated you are going to get some fingerprints on it but something that can be clean off really easily so I got my powder in medium which is a number two I figured this would be perfect it does look a little bit white in the pan but it's supposed to be a translucent powder so hopefully it doesn't translate too ashy on my skin tone and then here is the star of the show the bronzer this is the packaging for the bronzer it's like a like a clamshell I want to say I got mine in the number three which is a tan let me just go ahead and open it look at that I don't want my bronzer to look like a contour so I thought this one would be the perfect match hopefully really really beautiful and looks really elegant and expensive because it was this was like $55 I want to say I'll link it somewhere in the video I think the powder is a little bit less than the bronzer let me see that you know the the size difference um, right there so I'm gonna use the press powder first so I'm just tapping into it I'm getting a little bit of kick up from it I don't know if you guys can see right there with a dual fiber brush they tend to do that it doesn't look ashy at all I can definitely see a smoothing effect and it really brightens it up so this is how everything is looking now I did go ahead and just use whatever is left over on the brush and just sweep it all over my face and I'm so happy with this guys I really really recommend it really love it so 
so far so good so for the bronzer i'm using a much fluffier brush this is also a sigma large powder brush the f20 but any fluffy type of brush like this i think it's perfect right on top of the hollow so you don't want it to go here because that's your contour you want it to go a little bit above so that's why i want a nice big fluffy brush that i can diffuse it i'm not getting as much kickback actually i'm not really getting any kickback like I did with the under eye powder that is so easy to blend that just went into my skin like butter Wow gradual fade into the contour and I love bronzing so I'm gonna try and build this up some more bronze no bronze bronze I absolutely love it guys okay guys so this is the finished look what do you guys think I think it just looks so beautifully both powders work really well together and I just love it so happy with the finished look can't stop looking in the rearview mirror because I just think my skin just looks so nice so bronze so golden like I absolutely love it this makeup look is perfect for summer for highlighter I use the Fenty duo highlighter and I'm using um, ginger bench it's so much more subtle than Masco mule and it goes perfectly with this bronzer because this bronzer is not like boom in your face it's really subtle looks really natural like if you stay out in the Sun this is how bronze the Sun is gonna make your skin looks and I love that about it it's not the cheapest of bronzer I'm not gonna lie it's you know it's really up there but that's what this brand is it's a high-end brand so if you want to shop from this brand you kind of have to expect that you're gonna pay a little bit more than what you normally pay but guys you're not gonna be disappointed I have tried the Fenty bronzer but it was a little bit too red if you guys haven't seen it I'll link it in the video basically getting what you're seeing the number four I thought it would looked too much like a contour shade and i didn't want a contour i want something bronze and something natural that i can wear in the summertime right now so this is definitely a yes for me when it comes to the airbrush flawless powder i love this as well if you have the money to go ahead and pick this one up when you're picking that up then i think you're not going to be disappointed under eye really soft and really smooth and it really does look airbrush so yes guys definitely recommend these two products but if you just want to pick up one then i'll say definitely go with the bronzer for these two that i've picked up i really do love so i'm thinking about maybe picking up some more stuff from her if you guys have any recommendation and what do you think i should pick up from charlotte tilbury please leave it in the comment section below or if you were planning to pick up the bronzer or the finishing powder or both i would like to know as well what do you guys think how it looks on my skin do you see a difference from the before and after i put on the finishing powder um do you think it's worth the money you know just let's chat in the comment section also if you guys enjoy this video please go ahead thumbs it up share it with your friends and family and don't forget to hit the red subscribe button right below this video if you're not already subscribed and also don't forget to turn on that all notification button so you're not missing any of my videos and as soon as i post you're the first to know stay safe guys and i'll see you in my next one bye guys